The MG EZS is expected to launch in India in December this year. Expected price, RS 25 lakh. The MG EZS will come with 4,314 mm of length, 1,809 mm of width, 1,611 mm of height and a wheelbase measuring 2,585 mm. The MG EZS comes powered by an electric motor clubbed with a 44.5 kWh battery pack. The front axle positioned electric motor churns out 150 picoseconds of peak power and 350 Nm of peak torque. Feature wise, the India Spec EZS will come equipped with an 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system, dual zone climate control, panoramic sunroof, and LED headlamps. MG has confirmed that it is going to launch this all electric SUV in India sometime towards the end of 2019 itself. The MG EZS is going to get a 100 kW electric motor. MG promises that this vehicle will deliver a range of 350 km on a full charge. It will support charging through standard AC charger as well as DC fast chargers. The former will take close to 6.5 hours to charge the batteries to the full while the later is going to do the same under 60 minutes time. Prices of the same are expected to fall in between the range of RS 25 lakh to RS 30 lakh. The Japanese automaker has confirmed that it is going to launch its global all-electric model LEAF in the Indian market. The debut of the same is expected to take place by the end of 2019. The Nissan LEAF comes with a 40 kWh battery pack. When fully charged, the same promises to offer a range of around 400 km. Plugged into a DC fast charger, the Nissan LEAF's batteries will juice up to 80% in a matter of 40 minutes. The prices of the Nissan LEAF are expected to fall somewhere in between the range of RS 35 lakh to RS 40 lakh. The new e-powered train delivers a power output of 110 kW which is 38% more than the previous generation car. Torque has been increased by 26% to 320 newton meters. The LEAF will have a unique feature and that is the Nissan's vehicle to home, V2H. The company, in a release, said that the system which allows LEAF owners to charge their cars when power demand from the grid is low, such as night, then use the power to run their homes during peak demand periods. The all-electric Audi e-tron SUV is expected to go on sale by early 2020. Audi has revealed the e-tron for the Indian market. The e-tron is an all-electric SUV that was revealed globally in November last year and is Audi's first truly all-electric product for the global market. The e-tron is powered by two electric motors, one on each axle. It even has Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system but the mechanical gears have been replaced with an electronic system that controls the power being sent to each wheel. The total output of the system is 360 picoseconds and 561 newton meters and the e-tron do the 0 to 100 kmph run in just 6.6 seconds. The SUV also has an automatic boost mode which can bump up the power by 48 picoseconds and torque by 103 newton meters reducing the 0-100 kmph time to just 5.7 seconds. The top speed of the e-tron is capped at 200 kmph. The e-tron has a maximum range of 400 km as per the latest Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicle Test Procedure WLTP, cycle. It has a 95 kWh battery pack that can be charged from 0 to 80% in just 30 minutes, using DC quick charging. The e-tron also has brake energy recuperation which tops up the batteries with the recovered energy lost during braking. The electric SUV also rides on air suspension, and the SUV's ride height automatically adapts to the drive settings. If you are driving fast, the e-tron's height will be lowered, but if you take the electric SUV off-roading, the ride height automatically increases. Audi has packed the e-tron with features, the most prominent of which are the touch screens on the doors.
they relay a feed from the cameras outside that act as ORVMs. The e-tron is also specced with Audi's virtual cockpit setup which allows drivers to customize the instrument cluster according to their liking. It also gets dual central touch screens which serve a variety of functions like managing the air conditioning, navigation and drive settings. The e-tron also comes with a four-zone climate control, a B and amp, O sound system, panoramic sunroof and a wireless phone charger. Audi will bring the e-tron via Bu, completely built up, rooted it is expected to cost more than RS1 crore or around 145,860 US dollars. The ECOV 100 is going to come with a 31 kilowatts, three-phase AC induction motor. This all-electric micro SUV will promise a range of around 150 kilometers on a single charge. The ECOV 100 will take 80% when plugged into a DC fast charger within an hour. The ECOV 100 is going to launch in India sometime later this year. Its prices of this EV are expected to fall somewhere close to the mark of RS10 lakh. Maruti Suzuki has officially announced that it is going to launch its first all-electric car in India. We expect the automaker to base the Indian spec model on the Indian iteration of the Wagon R itself. Maruti is yet to confirm an official launch date for the same. However, it is likely that the same will make its debut in India sometime next year. Maruti's all-electric model is going to be a mass-market product. Hence, expect its price to fall somewhere close to the mark of RS10 lakh. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.